I feel like I need to rap on this beat. Go I'm ahead. not going to rap right now. No, you're going to rap no, right now. I'm not going to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Tony Barrio. Revy is not your trained monkey. What am I, clown? I'm here to entertain you. <laughs> oh, I thought you were about to start spitting. All right, so here's your start, man. Look, we dropped the podcast last, last week. Yeah. And we got an interesting question. And it was about the joke I made about... I said something to the effect of just saying I don't own the rights to this music and using it does not give you the right to use the music. I saw that post. You posted, uh, it was just a random post on Facebook and you said that, yeah. Because I've been seeing that pop up a whole lot. Like, it's, it's regularly, people are like saying, I do not own the rights to this song. And then they put their, their whole social media posts and they're saying, like, you know, they got the music playing in the background, they're doing all this stuff. And I'm like, you guys understand that that's not now your legal waiver to use whatever you wanted to use. Can I read it? Here's your post. Tony Barrios on Saturday, 2.18 p.m. Saying I don't own the rights to this music and then proceeding to use said music does not subsequently grant you the rights to legally use it. <laughs> Just trying to save you a few keystrokes. Carry on. Yeah. So that was a little spicy for no reason. I didn't yeah. have to say it the way I said it. It took me off guard. I was like... <laughs> You don't want to put ha 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 on there. I did ha 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 because I was like, yo, we clean. We use an artless baby. Yeah, yo, man. Yo, bring that artless song back in. Does it? Is it going to work? Bring it back in. Come on. Yeah. Artless. Subscription based. <laughs> Yearly fee. All right, that's terrible. $200. 1660 a month. Yeah, man. So, yeah. All right, enough of that. So to your effect, we use we use a site called Artlist. Tell, tell me about Artlist. What is Artlist.com? Artlist is, this is not sponsored by Artlist. Oh, and I don't think it's Artlist.com. I think it's Artlist.io. It's Artlist.io. I don't Artlist. know what that's Do about. What is I-O? Somebody tell us what that is in the yeah, comments. Maybe we'll Google that one day. Yeah. All right. Now, so um, every so here's the thing. Like, everybody starts out doing their, their content. This is really for the content creators. Um, and you know what? This even applies to people just using Facebook and, and social media in general. Because a bunch of people are not necessarily videographers and artists. But they want to do their little, you know, the TikTok videos and all that stuff. And it's the question came out, um, am I allowed to use that type of, you know, the music? Am I allowed to use this, this radio song or whatever I heard? You know, whatever artist at the moment. Can I dance and do whatever? And we're going to answer it from the legal perspective. From the video production LLC perspective. Yeah, like, so the short answer is going to be legally no. No. You cannot use it. You're not supposed to use it. But um, wait a minute. I, I'm hiring you guys to make a dope video of me, and I want to use Britney Spears one more time. Baby, one more time. You can if you have the budget and you have the resources and the patience to contact these people that own the publishing and the copyrights to say, I want to use your song for my own video. Okay, okay. That's why I'm hiring you. How much is that going to cost me? That's up to whoever owns that song. And we're talking... In, it, it potentially into it, the tens of thousands of dollars. It, it could be ridiculous. It, it could, could be hundreds of thousands of dollars. It yeah. could, it's whatever they decide. If I own the song, I could tell you, you okay, you can use it for a million dollars. That's it, why a lot of Hollywood movies, um, you know, there's a whole budget for licensing music. Right. Not like orchestral scores that are, you know, written for the, for the film, but, you know, hey, yeah. I want to use, uh, you know, James Brown in my, in my Tarantino flick. There's a big old price for that, and you know it's the same thing on this small scale as well. You gotta license your stuff. You gotta do it the right way if you want to be legal about it, there's which a, uh, which we do. There's a license for that. There's a budget for that, and uh, there's also lawyers that specialize in that. Mm -hmm. There's entertainment lawyers that that specialize in licensing and properly getting your stuff uh, licensed. You know, the, you don't want to put your stuff out there and get sued for. There's a way to calculate it. How they do it, we don't know because we don't get in those problems. But they, right. they, they do calculate how much money they potentially lost by you using their content without um, without permission. Yeah. And that's the stuff. So in, in, in the quick answer as far as, you know, if you use somebody else's content, if you use their song, if you use their pictures, anything that doesn't belong to you, that you didn't create yourself 100% original can be taken down. And with technology the way it is now, like we see it on YouTube. Anybody should be seeing it. You upload something to YouTube with somebody else's song, YouTube is taking it down immediately. You're not getting monetized, dude. You're getting demonetized right away. And that's not, you know, not everybody's trying to make money on YouTube. We get that. And look, here's the thing. You're on Facebook and you're, and you're dancing around in your house and you got the radio on and stuff. Dude, no one's going to pull your video. We, we get that. Right. We, that, that's not going to happen. Right. Um, 
I mean, it could, but it won't. So, but anyway. Well, ch- chances are it won't, right? Yeah, chances because, are it won't. Because these people are chasing people that are potentially taking money out of their pocket. That's what they're, they're after. In yeah. and, and your TikTok video of you dancing to the latest whatever Bieber. rapper song or whatever. Rapper, to Bieber. <laughs> to Bieber, Bieber. Yeah, well, anyway. He shaved his mustache. Did you see? I didn't know he had a mustache. Yeah, no, it's it. Yeah. It's not. Okay. <laughs> Back to what matters. <laughs> no, but so we use Artlist. Uh, Artlist, like Tony was saying, it's a subscription-based thing. Uh, you know, so whenever we produce videos for you or somebody you know, um, your music licensing fee, and you're, you know you can sleep tight at night knowing that you're safe and sound legally. We're going to use, we're going to find some great freaking tracks. Um, they're going to have their license all bundled up, and it's a forever license, right, on Artlist? Yeah, even, it's if, a forever even if your membership uh, expires, you still have the license to that yeah. music. You can use it on whatever you want, however many times you want. It's awesome, man. It's a, such a great service, and you really can't beat it. $200 a year, for us, that, that it's, it's, just, it's such a sound decision on our part. Mm-hmm. I, it, it's, a, it's a slam dunk, dude. And every day that, that uh, the library is getting bigger and bigger, and there's more and more artists coming to Artlist, and they're making money. It's just a beautiful thing, man. Yeah. For creators, dude, it's awesome, man. It's awesome. That's just like one, one of many things that a lot of people, um, you know, aren't seeing when they hire us to do stuff, to do work. You know, music licensing is one thing that they don't really see at the shoot. Right. You know what I mean? Well, and they don't really understand the importance a lot of times because it's not for you to understand it necessarily. That's why you hire professionals that handle this stuff. Yeah. I mean, um, it's, it's not too complicated, but no, it, is, it is something you got to do. Because you know what happens, and, and this is kind of a tangent or whatever, but I feel like, and I've heard other people bring up this point before, the laws are antiquated. The laws don't really address 2020 the way content is consumed. Because mm. um, anything you repost on social media, if, are they, if they're not your original words... It's copyright. It's it's plagiarism. Mm. Anytime you repost something, well, repost not so much. But if you're gonna grab somebody's like meme or whatever and repost it, and it, it's it, it's it turns into plagiarism, and, and it all becomes you know who wants to chase everything. So the way social media makes stuff, and it's so easy well, to repost stuff. Hold on, hold on. You said so. You share a meme. If I created a meme, if you created a meme and with I, my own picture, right, and, and you, it's my own and your joke you, or yep, whatever, you make it. And you and then I see it and I like it and I go like and share. Yeah, you, you're saying that's plagiarism. It's plagiarism. That's crazy, right? It's plagiarism, and it all depends on how much you want to chase somebody for doing that. Yeah. Does it really matter? Yeah. And and this is on the legal sense, you know, because you're gonna get a lot of people like, oh, come on, it's not that serious. Yes, yes, and no. It, it's it's not a big deal in the sense that all you did was repost something, all you did was use somebody's music to go do your, you know, your dance or whatever, but. Mm-hmm. Again, from the legal perspective, you're not supposed to. If you didn't create 100%, if that's not your original thought, your original content, you're not supposed to be using it. So really for the content creators, just be careful. Um, because not it's it's not a day anymore where somebody has to be watching everything that comes out online. There's software that does this now. There's software that recognizes images, that recognizes sounds. Everybody loves to throw around this buzzword, the algorithm. It's the algorithms, man. They're changing. The algorithm has changed on Instagram. No, but it's for real. It's for real. Computers are thinking. They're, they're finding this stuff. They're taking it down. Yeah, I don't know if this happened to you. Somebody, um, so I was at, a, at an event today, a public event, and I didn't know somebody was taking pictures. This, this really happened. I didn't even tell you about this yet. Mm. Um, and Facebook says, hey, um, do you want to tag yourself in this picture? The person didn't tag me, but Facebook said, we recognize this is your face. Do you want to go ahead and tag yourself in this picture? Wait a minute. You got like a notification mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. through Facebook. Yeah out of nowhere that said you you're in a photo from mm-hmm. someone else yeah it says someone else took a picture Dude, and you're in the crowd of what? that picture it says you're in the crowd it doesn't say you're in the crowd but it says it has a box around my face and it says you are in this photo do you want to tag yourself and the person that took the photo has no clue who i am so this isn't a situation where they did that this is uh I, and i would show you the thing if i could pull it up quick enough. dude that's the, big the brother man uh let me see let me see let me see, let me see. My. Gosh. Okay, here it is. That's insane. So I'm see. not even going to say the name of the person just in uh, case. Yeah, of course. Um, but this user added one photo that might include you. Go to photo Click review that. to see it. Click it. Photo review. Dude, shut up. Added a that. photo you might be in. It's Give got a that. box around my face, and it gives me the option to tag myself. Yo, are you kidding me? Where's the call police button? <laughs> so... It's a fantastic point to bring up. That, that's crazy, that dude. Now, that's a that's real. So yeah, so this is it, it could scare you, you know, the people that the, the whole Big Brother thing. But 
in in the context of this conversation, mm, man, you can't think, okay, I'm just resharing a picture or whatever. There's software that recognizes images easily. There's I don't know if you know about this, but the Google reser- uh, re- reverse image search. Mm-hmm. You can search images and just see who created this, who posted it first. Mm-hmm. Um, so again, in in the grand scheme of things, are are, are you going to get somebody knocking on your door because you reposted a picture you saw or you danced to it? No, it, it's no. Chances are it's not going to happen. But if you are creating content and you care about creating a brand around your content, just do things the right way because it's very cheap these days. You can do it for two hundred dollars. You can do. You brought up the YouTube thing. Yeah, the um, library. There, there's plenty. Um, and we did it for a while before we got Artless. You know, we were we were scouring through the YouTube audio library, and mm-hmm. it's all free tracks that you can use. Um, you know what's wild, dude? I saw a commercial on television like a week ago mm-hmm. and I recognized the song from oh. <laughs> YouTube audio library, the That's free cool, audio man. library. And I was like, that is bonkers, dude. Cause it's like one of the more popular ones. Cause I think we used it at one point. Right. And I was like, Oh, Oh, I know this song. That's YouTube audio library, baby. And it That's was like cool, on man. CBS, dude. It was, uh, I think it was uh, it was like on um, the XFL that new, I was watching the new XFL uh, league, okay. the new football league. And it was on one of the commercials. And yeah. I was like, That's funny. YouTube audio library, man. Um, but there's 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 play, like you mentioned it's uh it's easier than ever, um it's it's very affordable and that's what we do baby we keep it keep it legal. <laughs> you know because we we're trying to and, and here's the thing with us like in in a lot of content creators that are out there on social media, um start start really looking at the legal side of things especially if you're in this for the long run, um because today it might not matter right but let's say you know everybody starts with zero followers zero subscribers right mm-hmm. but you get to that you know 500,000 subscribers those videos are still going to exist and you don't want to be in a situation where you get demonetized or you get penalized for something you created four or five years ago yeah some of your earlier content that you want to live on forever dude it's gone now all of a sudden it's just blacklisted on youtube yeah it just gets pulled so yeah that would suck and that's the thing about the youtube library remember you can't it's free, but it has a couple caveats because some of them say you can use this track, but you have to give me uh You can copy and paste this description. <coughs> this little this little line needs to be in the description of you. Yeah. Just do your research, man. Do your research. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good, man. But anyway. Yeah, man. That's all, cool. All that stuff, license your stuff. Um what else? What else? We were talking about uh the way we create videos. Um you know, it, it's funny, as far as licensing, getting your paperwork right reminds me of the whole drone thing. Yeah, it's man. Not a, it, it's a, it, it's fun. It's, it's fun. Uh, it's a, some of them are toys, um, but you can get in a lot of trouble, man. Yeah, you mentioned the drone, man, and you know, it's. I mentioned it earlier. There's a lot of things, a lot of costs, a lot of rules that a lot of people don't see in this line of work with video production in, in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, specifically, I mean, and yeah, the drone stuff. Everybody's super into the drones now, man. I could do a whole show on on drones. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. I'll tell that funny story where I'm I'm, I'm being the police on Instagram. <laughs> so, yeah, look, so look, if you want to fly a drone, <laughs> there are rules. You know what I mean? There are rules, okay? There, there's rules in our society. And drones, <laughs> dude, they're dangerous, man. They seem like toys, yes, but they're dangerous. And if you're doing it commercially, there are a lot more rules. Even if you're doing it as an amateur just for fun, there are still rules, especially in this area in Virginia Beach, dude, where we have incredibly strict airspace regulations um, yeah no military bases all around us you know we've got do where so many people live five miles from oceana they probably heard it right now they probably heard the jets flying over. yeah man so that's another thing dude it's like yo can you bring the drone well we'll bring it but we don't know if we're going to be able to fly it right and we always want to we always want to fly the drone it's that we run into this with real estate shoots a lot um you know we always want to do the best and give the most value to not just realtors, but any client of ours. Right. We want to do the most. Um, but we're not going to throw the drone up if, illegally. Right. If the weather can, even if we've got clear airspace, the rules are, look, you got to have certain visibility. You got to have ceilings from the clouds. You know what I mean? You got you to know your ceilings. You got to know your wind. You know, 100 feet up, 150 feet up in the air, it's a lot different. Yeah. So there's been many times where it's, yeah, we're clearing open airspace, but we're not putting it up. It's too dangerous. Right. Nope. You know, we're federally certified pilots, dude, through the FAA, Part 107, um, you know, and that's how we got to do it because we're a legit business, baby. Well, and is it really a big deal? It is a big deal. It is um, a big deal, man. Because a couple birds took down a whole passenger 
Dude, Dude, yeah, no thank and you, threw, man. And threw it in the Hudson. And I'm not, I'm not ready to pay a twenty-five thousand dollar fine to the FAA. Forget a for fine. FAA. Forget a fine. Because you know what? What's beautiful about America? You go, <laughs> you go claim bankruptcy, and you move on with your life. I declare <laughs> bankruptcy. But no, what's horrifying <laughs> is you end up making a plane crash. You end up flying into somebody, and and you know causing a, a serious accident. And is it serious? Yeah, you can. People can die behind you fooling around with a drone, a jet engine, sucking it up into the engine and crashing. Dude, seriously, man. Like, just just Google it. There's been so many different accidents, man. So I'll be on Instagram and I'll look at it, people here locally, and I'm and they're on their Instagram, their business page, and they're you know videographers or whatever, and they're like doing all this drone stuff over control controlled airspace, right? Restricted airspace, and I'm right. like sitting there, I'm just like. There's a couple of news organizations out there that's, that's messing around and you, listen, man. Side note, because this is more for just a regular everyday person, but the companies that are messing around and throwing drones up and doing whatever they want, you're messing it up for a lot of people because you're creating an expectation that you can do whatever you want out here, and it's just not the truth. Um, no. You're going to make it hot for everybody. The drone laws are going to continue to get worse and worse yeah. with more and more people doing silly things that they know are wrong or they don't care. Um, and they're just going to make, look, the government is, is going to choose safety over your hobbies any day. And you're going to make it to the point where they mess around and outlaw drones or make it so impossible to fly that it's just going to be pointless to even get a drone. Yeah, no, I agree. And, you know, that's another thing, too. Um, you know, we've had some we've we've had some I won't say crazy. But we've had some pretty wild requests. Um, I mean, just even recording in public areas. Yeah, over film, people and filming, stuff like that. I'm just talking about now we're on the ground with cameras. Right, right. Now Tsunami Digital Media is going to oh, come yeah, yeah, film yeah. you yeah, and yeah. you want us to come out to a public area. Um, with with other people around, and uh, you you know, there's a lot of rules, dude. There's a lot of rules. And wait, look. To be honest, again, we're talking about from the legal perspective because we are not the big sticklers for the whole. You know, like we're gonna rat everybody out. We're not all. We're not super. You know, we're gonna do things the right way, right? Yeah. But we're not out here looking to get people in trouble and and, and trying to be higher than everybody else. So there's things you can do in public, right? But everything's within reason, man. Sure. Like. Yeah. You can't run into the middle of traffic and go do whatever you want. Yeah. So some of the stuff and, is common sense, man. And, you know, we've heard it too. Well, you know, I mean, we've heard it from a few clients. You know, well, I have a buddy that, that, that put it up or, you know, I have a buddy that did it. And it's like, okay, I got it. That's cool. But when you're hiring Tsunami Digital Media, we do things the right way. Right. We do it the legal way. We do it the safe way. You know what I mean? The responsible way. We the want your content way. to live forever, man. We don't yeah. want to create something for somebody that ends up getting taken Yeah, we down. don't want to embarrass you. We yeah. don't want to embarrass you. Yeah. Because, you know, do you ever see our logo on anybody's video that we do? No. It's, no. Not. it's, it's your video. We, you're paying us to create it. It's your content. Right. Um, we want it to be legal, safe, and the dopest video you've ever seen, dude. Because, so. I, I mean, I, I think I would feel terrible about it. We both feel terrible about it. If we, you know, we go out there, we... we talk about you know what the investment's going to look like we go through all the work of doing it we take your time our time to make this project and then you end up not able to use it yeah that because would. we didn't do our due diligence to figure out did we have the clearance to film there did we have the the right license to use because mm -hmm. most almost all videos you're ever going to do are going to have some kind of music there so get your stuff licensed correctly shoot in the right areas don't put anybody else at risk and and for content creators don't make it hot for everybody else out here everybody's trying to do their thing correctly um don't ruin it, man. You're going to make it impossible for everybody else out here. You want professional content, you come to come to the professionals, dude. Let's do it. Let's go. And if you're starting, man, it ain't that expensive. You can. There's a lot of resources for free. You can mm -hmm. get some free licensed music. You might not get the wide range of stuff that you can get if you paid, but you can license stuff. You can find uh, free use, royalty-free uh, images if you need it. Mm -hmm. It's All that stuff exists out there if you so choose to do some Googling and get your stuff done correctly. Yeah, man. But the people that get lazy and just rip stuff off of YouTube and because I'm going to use this 50 Cent song and, and I'm just going to use it as the background for my whatever, you, you make it hot for everybody. That's the only way I can see it. It's like, you, that, that's what worries me. You ruin the market. Yeah, there goes the, the, the sound of freedom, which that never bothers me. Let Unless, me go get the drum. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I love that sound. It, it reminds me. I, honestly, yeah. I, feel, I feel like that reminds me of how safe we are. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, and for me personally, it reminds me of just growing up, dude, around my dad, who was a fighter pilot. Yeah. I mean, I was just, that's just cool. hearing it all the time. Man. That's cool. Anyway, dude, uh, yeah, that's that's our little our little spiel about music licensing, doing things the right way legally from a uh, video production side of the house. Kind of get a little insight on how we operate behind the scenes. Yeah. 
But uh, yeah, man. All right. Cool. That's it. Dig it, dude. Anything else? You want to talk about anything else? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, next week, maybe we'll talk about Sonic after I watch it. I got to watch Sonic. Dude, I took, I took Vic to see Sonic the Hedgehog. It was dope. Can you give it a star rating? Three. Uh, yeah, out of five? Zero out of uh, one, one through five. One through five, it was a 3.5. 3.5 out of 5. So it was okay. It was it was okay. It was pretty good. So spoiler free because I'm going to watch it with, with the yeah. kids and stuff like that. Yeah. So the animation is good? You could tell that they had to redo it. Did they really redo it? Yeah. Because did you see the theory? And, and I, I don't put it past them. The theory was that they put the bad character model out first. They didn't. They already had that finished Sonic that, we, that you saw in the movie. Yeah. And they purposely put a couple scenes out with a bad Sonic just to create conversation around the movie. That's like what? The and then they, they delayed have. it a year and a half. They delayed. Maybe they weren't ready to begin. With. Come on, man. <laughs> no, dude, it's Hollywood, it, and it's it's a Hollywood movie about a video game. They always screw it up. I'm glad that they went back and they apparently, allegedly, now Tony's in my head. They fixed it, and uh, it looked way better. It looked like the Sonic I knew. And apparently, we we've never um, obviously we've never done animation like nothing close to that. But I, I was seeing a few people comment that claim that they're animators, and they say that that's not really the biggest undertaking that you would think. Mm. Like, because I assume now you got to go in there and redo the whole movie almost. Well, but they were saying with software is you can change, you know, the, the way you do it is kind of like Photoshop where there's several different layers. Yeah. And you could just change a few layers and it'll apply for the rest of the movie. And I'm sure their character model. And we're simplifying it like crazy. But. You know, I'm sure there's the skeleton there that you could. You right, know, right. And then just say, hey, look, we're putting a new skin on it, dude. Exactly. That, you know what that, I mean? That's what a couple people were explaining. So it's you'll, not you'll it's like a couple it. months of work, but it's not redoing the whole movie. Yeah. The kids will like it a lot. Jim Carrey was so great. It was so good to see Jim Carrey just being a zany freak show again, man. I was like, yes, that's Jim Carrey right there, man. Did you hear about this? Ace Ventura 3? Have you heard about this yet? Did you hear that? I'm not really the biggest Ace Ventura fan to begin with. I'm not the biggest Jim Carrey fan to begin with. There's a, there's a few there's a few things I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and let you know right now. You know what else? Since I'm here by myself, I never liked the Power Rangers. I'm out! I never liked the Power Rangers. I never understood it. I had a bunch of friends in my life that loved this Power Ranger stuff, and I always found it to be corny. Like I really did, and I was I was the one being looked at like I was crazy because I didn't like Power Rangers. I still don't. I don't get it. Tyrannosaurus. I, I, yeah, I, I yeah, never you, really did. There's something wrong with you, dude. So while my friends like while my friends <laughs> like Power Rangers, I was still on like Ninja Turtles, Gargoyles. Um, what else was there? Beast Wars. Hold on one second. Okay. That was nice. Yeah, no, there was other things that I liked besides uh, Power Rangers. I don't know why it just didn't click with me. Yeah. But looking at it now, like I got like my friends are adults now. Yeah. With the exception of you, that still think it's cool because they're nostalgia. But a lot of my adult friends are like, yeah, that junk looks kind of corny. Oh, dude, no, like, <laughs> Power Rangers, dude, Power Rangers has always been corny. But I feel like as a kid, I saw it to be corny. Like as a kid, I was like, yo, oh, that that's this horrible that's like lame. acting. <laughs> oh that, no, I was like, dude, I loved it. I like loved it. I always knew something was off about it, I, and then it's like you know, because that show wasn't it that wasn't that show like Japanese? So and then they. Acted yeah, some scenes. That's the thing about. So it was originally. Um, you know, we should have this pulled up, right? We never know what the heck we're talking about, dude. On these shows, what? It's dude, we're talking about. It's a show about nothing. <laughs> it's about like. nothing. Dude, Power Rangers was wild because yes, it was originally a Japanese show that had ran for like three or four seasons, mm -hmm. and then Saban uh, Entertainment was like, let's bring it to the American, this dumb American market, um, and we'll just get some teenagers and we'll and we'll film some of the some of the show in. Los, or Las Vegas, in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. in California, and they'll just splice in all the action scenes for, that have already been filmed. Right. So all the action for those first couple of uh, seasons of that show were all the Japanese show. Right, right, right. There was hardly any of it was filmed with the American actors. Yeah. Which is hilarious to me. I think it's just really funny. Well, I feel like we got spoiled because we had a lot of great cartoons, like a lot of great animation with a lot yeah. of adult... Honestly, it was adult. It was a lot of adult themes, yeah. which I don't. I don't watch today's cartoons. Me either. Very rarely. Like, but the stuff I, I have been exposed to, I don't feel like the themes are as adult as the stuff we were exposed to. Mm. And not necessarily like you know, because you look back at like, have you seen Ren and Stimpy? Like, have you gone back and seen? Dude, that me stuff? and my wife were just talking about that. My wife was like, "Yeah, I wasn't allowed to watch Ren and Stimpy." See, I was because we weren't necessarily catching how like. Like blatant, lewd. blatant, lewd. some of the stuff. How like lewd crazy, it man. was! It was lewd. Yeah, we didn't see it that way. It like, 
And honestly, I feel like a lot of those episodes I didn't see, period. Like, I yeah. feel like they were lost episodes or something that now as an adult, I'm like, I don't remember ever seeing that. Yeah, no. Like, I couldn't believe that it was that crazy. I'm trying to think of a lot of shows I used to watch. I, I feel like Gar- I mentioned Gargoyles. That had a very mature theme to it. It yeah, wasn't anything gargoyles. sexual, but it was kind of like it. It, it had, was dark. It was darker. Yeah, it, it, it was more mature. There was um, a lot of rain. <laughs> Most uh, of it was at night because the, of their uh, gargoyles. affliction. Gargoyles, yeah. <laughs> because their ailment. Because gargoyles. They're handicapped. They're differently abled. Differently abled gargoyles. <laughs> um, I watched the X Men animated show. X Men was crazy violent. Oh, dude. It's like the first episode they're killing people already. Yeah, dude. The Wolverine stabbing people. It's like the first or second episode they killed like the main, one of the main characters, like uh, Morph or whatever. I forgot his mm-hmm. name. Um, I watched Transformers. I was a big Transformers fan. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that was, I mean, I was born in 85. So Transformers was like killing in 85. Mm-hmm. By the time I was watching it, it was reruns. You know what I mean? From that original, well, run, yes, yes. original well, show. Yeah, the original show was reruns, but I was watching Beast Wars as it came out. Beast Wars. That was the one was like the crudely animated, like 3D. It was like the early days of 3D animation. It looked real to me back then. I was like, that's a gorilla. Yeah. That's a real gorilla. <laughs> yeah, okay. And I was like, yeah. See, to me, I always thought that looked silly. No, I was like, Beast that looks silly. Was great. Dude. As I'm story, watching Power man. Rangers, you know. <laughs> the story in Beast Wars was fantastic. Yeah. That was, uh, remember, Reboot? Reboot. Oh my gosh. Reboot, yeah. Reboot. I do. There was like Enzo. Uh, oh man. I don't remember the character. I forgot the characters, dude. but Enzo, there was the dog. How about how about this, dude? How about Ronin Warriors? Yeah, Ronin Warriors. Ronin Warriors. That was the Tsunami era. Yeah, Ronin Warriors. Like that was Roroni Kenshin. My wife uh, my wife watched Sailor Moon. Sailor I didn't, Mercury. I didn't Sailor mess with Jupiter, Sailor Moon. No. Sailor Mars. <laughs> Did you ever see uh, more recently? But it's still it's old now. Did you ever see Afro Samurai? No, I know of Afro Samurai. Very cool art style. I like the animation. I like the way it looks. Man, never saw it though, and dude. RZA from Wu Tang did the music. That's and Samuel Jackson's all over it. That's like, dope. It's, dude, I got that whole thing on DVD. I gotta let you borrow it. Yeah, you guys should see Tony's house. You still haven't seen uh? No, <laughs> no, I haven't. It's sitting in my house though. No, it isn't. It's in a box somewhere, lost. No, it's not. You talking about the Dragon Ball movie? Yeah, yeah. No, dude, it's underneath my TV right now. Oh, okay. I, it's staring at me, okay. going, "Finish this for Tony." Yeah, you're never gonna finish it. Don't no, finish I'm it not. for me. Finish it for yourself. It was a fantastic movie. Yeah, he's talking about the Dragon Ball animated movie that came. Broly. Out. Yeah, the Broly movie. Cool. I liked it. Hold on one second. Who is this? Ben Harris. You want to call him? Call Ben for what? They're not gonna hear it. I need. We need to be able to hook that up first, dude. Oh, speakerphone. Come on, man. We Come need on. Speakerphone, Ben. Hold on one second. <laughs> He's sending me Joe Rogan podcast clips. Yeah, ben no, knows me well. We're gonna we're gonna pass on. We'll, we'll introduce Ben later. No, no, Ben Harris, easily, you're coming, baby. Don't we worry. We can easily put Ben. We can get you to call in, and we'll just put him on the um the FaceTime on the laptop or whatever, mm. and then we just throw him on the. Uh, oh yeah, good the call. Audio. We'll throw right, the cool. audio up there. That's easy. All right, we're done. We're done. It's done. Yeah, man. Back next week. Yeah. Give us some topics. Um, yeah. Oh hey, let's get somebody on the show. I want to get Dro on the show. Leandra. Jarrell, Jarrell said he wanted to be on there, and we ended up. Well, I forgot what happened, but we yeah. ended up not potting at the regular day or whatever. We're going to contact somebody soon, we and we're going to get you on the we show. We got to get Jarrell. We got to get Dro. Um, I want to get a couple of our. Uh, some more clients that we've worked with. Yeah. Would be really fun. I'd love to get. Uh, you know, I'd love to maybe get Paula on the show from Century 21. Paula got. Um, you see, she got an award. Paula she, she got, got an award. Like, she got like doesn't a recognition. Su- doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Doesn't surprise me, Paula. Yeah, man. That's She's a, cool a monster, lady. man. I That's love cool her. Lady. Love to get her on. Um, our friends at Aqua S, that'd be fun. Yeah, one man. of our recent clients. Yeah, I mean, do we get all kinds of people on here, man? I wonder if the Green Run people will show up. That would be fun, dude. <laughs> let me tell you something, man. You guys get ready, get ready, because we got a video coming out soon, man. Um, at the end of this month, dude. We were, it, what a fun, what a fun project to do for Green Run Collegiate, one of the local, um, IB schools here in virginia beach and uh, they hired us to highlight their program and they're debuting this beautiful beautiful film we put together for them uh at their gala at the end of the month and we're gonna get all dressed up we're gonna put on ties are you wearing a tie to this thing tony yeah man yeah we're wearing a black tie it's black tie i might wear black everything i like black 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 is my favorite yeah but no that's very exciting we got we got a lot of stuff coming out soon man it's it's, it's great it's great times dude all right all right, let's try, move on. Try to end this thing like nine times. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, we're done. This is Tony. This is it, and I'm mad, man. This is Tsunami Podcast, baby. Yeah, we're out. We do this. You're always great. I can't take you anymore. You have no more to say.